Easy Street is official. We were at City Hall uh, uh, City uh, yesterday, and um, I got to experience it. But Lonzo, how do you how do you feel knowing that this has finally come through? Man, uh, you know I've been working on this for about, about almost about, about nine months, and in the research for doing this, I found out it was attempted before and it didn't go through. And uh, when I saw you know uh, what was going on. And I think I'm, I said, I'm going to give it one more try, maybe because it's the 50th, it's that 50th anniversary of hip hop, we can get this, pull this off. And uh, me and uh, one of the uh, liaisons, Dean, uh, found the street in Compton that was perfect. And uh, I put, the, put together the proposal. And next thing I know, nine months later, here, here we are. But, it, but dude, you know, it was really, it was really, excuse me, one of those situations that was kind of, it seemed like it was kind of meant to be, man, because players that I didn't know was playing had jerseys, played a role in this thing, man, that was just amazing, dude. Um, we kind of got stuck at one point in time. And I didn't, because I'm, I'm not really that astute on how the politics work. I know the mayor, the city council, blah, blah, blah. But there's certain things, certain procedures that are not public knowledge. And not until you start doing something like this till you find out how things go. And we got stuck and I was went to the city clerk's office to find out if we made the agenda. And the young lady asked me, what are you trying to do? I said, well, I have a proposal in uh, with one of the city councilmen to make it to uh, convert her street to Easy Street. And she looked, she said, are you, do you really? And I knew who she was, and I, but I forgot who she was. And she says, uh, no, I knew who she was. I was. I was trying to figure out, wait a minute, I know her, but what do I know her from? And she told me she was one of the girls from Menage a Trois, DJ Yeller's group. And I'm like, okay, she was on Ruthless. Okay, this is what I'm trying to do. And she made a phone call. She said, email this lady right here. Next thing I know, the ball started rolling again. And uh, as the ball was rolling, I um, was at another meeting, at, this, at one, another city meeting, and a gentleman walked up to me. And he says, hey, man, you might not remember me, but... Um, uh, I used to come to your studio with one of your artists, X Con. I said, "Oh yeah." And he told me who his name was. He says, uh, "I'm I'm the um, I'm in charge of street maintenance." <laughs> uh, you still live on Arbor? I mean, I live off of El Segundo. I said, "Yeah." So here it is: two key people that I had to deal with or have to deal with are people that I inadvertently had relationships with and easy had relationships with. So it just made things. And then when I talked to the city manager about it, the, the, the assistant city manager, oh, man, I'm a big Easy E fan. He's an older dude. I'm a big Easy E fan. We can make this happen. So, you know, it, the ball just got the rolling. It just reconfirmed that I was doing something right and uh, the timing was right, man. And, you know, the 50th anniversary of hip-hop makes it just that much better. And as we plan the uh, festivities around this, we plan on doing something for the 50th anniversary of hip-hop as well. I know it's kind of past, but, you know, shit, we still celebrate we're on the West Coast. We can do it all. We do it. And then we get ready to. So, yeah, Doc, I'm happy about it, man. I took off today. I was supposed to work today, man, doing some stuff. I said, you know what? I was tired. You know what? I was exhausted uh, hanging out and just, you know, just celebrating, man, just feeling good about the whole process, man. So, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. And sitting inside that building and just, you know, knowing that it could be a yes or a no, that was, that was kind of yeah, a um, – yeah. Yeah, it's like it could go either way, you know, it could, but it, it went the right way. And tell everybody out of all the uh, city council people, the person that actually got the ball rolling and understood. Because when you pointed, we, we played a little game like, hey, you asked me to pick out which one was the one. And I was like, uh, I, I picked all the wrong people. But who all was the wrong it? people. Oh, uh, Miss, Miss um, uh, I call her LPD, Lily P. Darden. She's probably the senior member of the, uh, of the uh, city council. And, but she understood the significance of what I wanted to do, and uh, she carried the ball. She sponsored the uh, the whole process and made sure it got done, and uh, much love to everybody in the city council, but she was the one that I went to back in January, and she liked the idea. She said, let's do it, baby. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and she's the oldest one on the, the panel, which is why it's yeah, kind of interesting. She's, she's, member, she's a senior. Uh, she worked in all, every department in the city council. I mean, she worked in some everything, the fire department, uh, school board, all kind of stuff. So she's very astute, very aware of what what uh, was happening in Compton. She knows all the departments, and she understood she understood the significance 
of what we do at the, cha at the cha uh, Compton Entertainment Chamber. And we're trying to create tourist attractions for people uh, for people to come out of town. I've been, for the all summer long, I've been getting um, requests. One of my buddies has a store, a comp we call it the Compton Store, and he sells some of my books. And by him doing that, he has um, people come to town and they come to the Compton Store to see, you know, buy memorabilia. And one of my friends works there and she calls me up. I get all type of access, man. Germany. There are thousands of pictures online of white people taking pictures in front of the Compton sign, yeah. peace signs yeah. and all that. So Compton has a Compton has a name we can't we can't uh, we can't run from we can't deny and that's what I do with the Compton Entertainment Chamber of Commerce is much one of our goals is to create as many tourist attractions in Compton positive tourist attractions in Compton that we possibly can so when people come to Compton they got something to look at you know they got something to look at man that that's important people want to see Compton and they just you know I've had people ask what are the gangbanger had I don't know I don't know. I mean, I did interviews in Africa and different parts of the world, man. What 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 do you guys do on a Saturday night? Play cars, hang out, do nothing. Yeah, they right. think we shoot each other and like yeah, just go out drink yeah. forty ounces, like everybody. Yeah. They think we're on the corner just paying paying uh. No, she, she just a very small percentage, guys. Very small nah, percentage. No, nah, that's not what that's not what happened. So, uh, one of the things I want to do as president of the, of the chamber of commerce, in the chamber chamber of commerce is to uh, uh, clarify some of the things that Compton is known for. And um, uh, you know, bringing people, bring people up to date about the real content. So this is one of the ways we're doing it. Yeah, it's amazing what the other rest of the country and the rest of the world thinks of certain cities based on media, based on music. I remember being younger and traveling out of state and telling people I'm from Long Beach, and the first question is, "Do you know Snoop Dogg?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, man. Um, people do the same thing. You know my cousin that went to school in 1942? No, I don't think so. Probably not. He went to Centennial too. Yeah, I was already, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> what is super oh, stuff like that? Just, just silly shit. That's all. What's up, folks? I see the chat room in full effect yeah, today. Yeah, chat room is Best popping. Chris said born. I see my boy Mike T. What up, folks? Gary's Garage. Much love to all y'all for chiming in early, man. We got a good show, man. We, we yeah, yeah. Happen. It's going to be a great show, man. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about Easy Street. Where is is it going to be and what street will they be replacing? Uh, currently the street that is, um, that will be replaced by Easy Street is Auto Plaza Drive South. Auto Plaza Drive South, it is on Alameda. If you come off the 91 freeway, it'll be the first street you see going into the shopping center. There's a Starbucks, a McDonald's. It's gonna, it's gonna be a great spot. It's a great, it's a great location. Uh, people are considering McDonald's or get a cup of coffee and you got to turn on easy street to do that. So these are some of the things that, uh, you know, that we took in consideration and because there are no, there's no one that has a, uh, has a street, has a, uh, a driver's license with the, with the, with the, uh, address from auto Plaza drive. It was perfect. It has, it has very, very significant meaning, but very little impact on anyone else. Yes. Compton town center. Um, it's right there by the Compton Town Center, and at, if you go down, what's going to be Easy Street to the end of it, there's a roundabout. There's a little roundabout circle, and I'm working. My next project is to get that roundabout remodeled, redesigned, and uh, make it make it Legacy Circle or something. I don't know yet, but we, that's our next project. So I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be working on that today, but I kind of didn't do that. So 